二零二二年第三十一條咧，都係有關於呢個科學探究嘅。根據翻科學探究嘅結果，以下邊一個環境因素嘅轉變係能夠為呢個大葉枝條嘅蒸騰速率帶嚟最大嘅下降、最大嘅降幅嘅？咁其實呢條題目咧，你見到得三成人答啱咧，唔係因為佢難啊，係因為大家嫌麻煩啫。其實我將佢拆翻開，計下數，做下比較，你會覺得嚇。就係咁嘅啫，原來係啊，就係、是、咁簡單嘅咋。咁啊，成條題目啦，考翻啦，比較啦。頭先要計嘅數咧，大部分計曬噶啦。咁陣間咧，我哋只係計多一步嘅啫。咁同埋呢條題目咧，答單啦，都問下我哋控制變項嘅概念啦。因為當我哋啦要比較唔同嘅裝置嘅時候咧，總係有啲變項咧。喂，你唔好變佢、哦。例如啦，當我哋比較裝置一同裝置二咧。嗱，佢哋因為光度都係低啊嘛，嗱咁樣咧，呢個就係控制變項啦。因為我哋想比較嘅咧，就只係個濕度嘅轉變啫。咁即係話咧，你拿住裝置二同裝置三兩者去比較咧，嗱就唔公平噶咯。因為啦，光度又唔同，濕度又唔同，係咪？啊，咁有兩個嘅獨立變項啊嘛。咁自不然啦，我哋都唔會攞二同埋三咧去做比較嘅。咁而家啦，我哋睇下答案咧，做咗擊破啦噃。第一個啦，佢就講咧，當大家都係低濕度嘅時候，將個光度由高光轉落低光咧，導致到咧一個大啲嘅降幅啦，就令到棵植物咧冇塞得咁多水啦。其實咧，我哋就係比較緊 set up one 同 set up three 嘅。嗱，咁我拆咗呢啲嘢佢間俾你哋睇先 ，set up one，set up three。大家咧都係屬於低濕度，但係光度唔同，自不然啦。你又可以睇下咯，由高光度係喐咗九點四個 cm， 去到低光度就喐咗六點六個 cm， 佢哋嘅相差咧就係二點八個 cm。當你掌握咗呢個技巧之後咧，計埋其他數據咯，跟住啦就去到 option B 咯噃。高濕度嘅情況底下，將個光度由高光調落低光咧，咁又會如何咧？今次咧我哋就睇下 set up two 同埋 set up four 啦。嗱，大家咧都係高濕度係咪啊？不過由高光去低光，高光嘅時候咧，個氣泡咧就係喐咗三點四 cm； 低光嘅時候咧，個氣泡就喐咗二點五 cm。係咪有咗呢兩個數據啊？啊，相差幾多啊？啊，跌咗零點九 cm 啫。然後咯，就去到 C 咯，喺低嘅光度情況底下，將個濕度咧就由低轉高。啊，又如何咧？其實咧，我哋今次就比較緊 set up one 同埋 set up。two 啦，就即係比較緊呢兩個啦。嗱，大家咪低低光度啊 ，CV 嚟噶嘛。咁但係濕度唔同啊嘛，由低去高咯。咁啊氣泡咧，低濕度嘅時候咧，六點六 cm； 高濕度嘅時候咧，就二點五 cm。相差咗幾多啊？相差咗四點一嘅 cm。跟住啦，去到最後尾啦，就係、是、高光度嘅時候咧，我哋將個濕度由低轉高啦，就即係比較緊 set up three 同埋 set up four 啦。大家都係高光度啊嘛，就係、是、改變咗濕度啫嘛。低濕度嘅時候咧，就係九點四 cm。高濕度嘅時候咧就係三點四 cm， 相差咗六 cm。嗱，計完之後啦，邊個相差最多？咪就係 D 咯，因為六 cm 啊嘛，其他都係得四點一、零點九、二點八啫嘛，係咪？所以我話呢條題目唔係難啊，呢條題目係感覺上好煩啊，尤其是佢擺到第三十一條咧，大家會覺得死啦，唔夠時間啦，跟住又望到佢都唔知你問乜嘢，喺求其圈個答案就算數啦。咁就錯曬啦，係咪？即係啦，教埋你哋貼題，呢條題目可以咁問你，就係、是、變成長題目啦，就係、是、問返呢，究竟喺個光度同埋濕度，我就想問下你啦，究竟邊一個嘅環境因素對於棵植物嘅蒸騰速率係有較大嘅影響呢？然後啦，再去解釋埋你嘅答案。嗱，今次嘅題目分數點樣配置啊 ？Suggest 呢，就係、是、計你一分嘅。而呢個解釋咧就計你兩分嘅，而當中呢兩分咧仲有一分咧係源自於你個數據嘅，而另一分咧先係真真正正咧用翻你生物科嘅知識嘅啫。咁啊，有試下喺留言區留低你嘅答案，睇下你 concept 清唔清。Two two two question thirty one is still the same investigation. So according to the result of the investigation in Table Two, which of the following changes in the environmental conditions will lead to the greater reduction in the transmission rate of the leafy shoot? So for this question, only thirty three percent student got it correct. It doesn't mean that it is very difficult. It just means that you may need to do some processing. You may think, example, and the student may think that it's so troublesome, and then they just pick up the answer randomly. 
So after I explain the question, you will find that, oh my God, is that easy? Yes, it's so easy. So for the whole question, it's checking us the skills, synoptic skills again for the comparison. Actually, it also needs us to calculate something, but most of the calculation we did it in question 30. At the same time, in this question, it recall the concept of the control variable because we are going to compare different setup and in order to make it a fair test, we need to keep a certain variable constant, the same in different setup. For example, we are comparing treatment 1 and 2, the light intensity, it is the CV, control variable, because they are the same. We are just comparing the humidity, high or low. So what if we are comparing setup 2 and setup 3? It's never a fair test because for the light intensity, high, low, and for humidity, also high, low. So there are two independent variables. They are different. So that's why it is not a fair test. We cannot draw any conclusion here. Okay, so let's take a look at the answer one by one. At low humidity condition, adjust the light intensity from high to low. Therefore, we are comparing setup one and setup three because for the humidity, both of them, they are low. We just change the light intensity, which is the IV. And then we compare the movement of the air bubble. At high light intensity, the movement is 9.4 cm. At low light intensity, the movement is 6.6 .6 cm and there is a 2.8 cm reduction. And for option B, at high humidity condition, at just light intensity from high to low, therefore, we are comparing setup 2 and setup 4. Both of them, they are at a high humidity, but we just change the light intensity. So we compare the movement of the air bubble. At a high light intensity, the movement of the bubble is 3.4 cm. And at no light intensity, the movement is 2.5 cm. There is 0 0.9 cm reduction. And then for option C, at low light intensity, we adjust the humidity from low to high. Therefore, we are comparing setup 1 and setup 2. Both of them, we have the low light intensity. We just adjust the humidity. And then we compare the, at low humidity, the movement is 6.6 .6 cm. At a high humidity, the movement is 2.5 cm. And then the reduction is 4.1 cm. And finally, for the option D, at high light intensity, we adjust the humidity from low to high, and then we compare the movement of the air bubble again. At low humidity, the movement of the air bubble is 9.4 cm. At high humidity, the movement is 3.4 cm, and the reduction will be 6 cm. So you can see that by comparing all the numbers, so option D is the final answer because there will be 6 cm reduction of the movement of the air bubbles um, and it means that the transpiration rate will be reduced in a greater extent. After that, I want to tell you the possible question variation. Now it is the MC, okay, next time I make it as a long question. Based on the result, suggest which factor light intensity or humidity has a greater impact on the transpiration rate and then explain your answer. So you can see that for this question, three marks one mark for the suggestion or light intensity or the humidity and then for two mark for the explanation and in this two mark one mark is using the data you need to use the result to tell me and then you explain it by using your biological concept biological law nature so you can leave your answer in the comment section and let's see your concept is clear or not